If the RMS Titanic were built today, would it still sink? First, design. The RMS Titanic's lower structure was compartmentalized, meaning it had 16 watertight compartments inside. But here's the problem. Those compartments weren't completely sealed off. The tops were open, so when water flooded into five compartments, it easily spilled over into the rest. Modern ships, on the other hand, are built with a double hull structure, two layers of steel plates. That means even if one layer gets punctured, the second one can still hold strong and prevent flooding. Second, materials. Titanic's outer plates were held together by low-grade wrought iron rivets. In freezing temperatures, those rivets became brittle and cracked. That's what happened when the iceberg struck. But today's ships are built from high tensile steel alloys that don't break even at 40 it. Third, radar. In 1912, there was no radar, sonar, or satellite navigation. Icebergs had to be spotted manually with binoculars. And that night, the lookouts didn't even have binoculars because the key to the locker was missing. As a result, they saw the iceberg just 30 seconds before impact, nowhere near enough time to avoid it. Now ships have multi-layer radar, sonar, GPS, satellite tracking, and weather sensors all working together. They can detect icebergs, waves, or other ships from over 100 kilometers away. Computer and AI systems can automatically change the route if danger is detected. Fourth, communication. Titanic had a Marconi wireless telegraph system, but it was mostly busy sending personal messages for passengers. Multiple ice warnings came in, but not all of them reached the captain, even when the ship started sinking. Distress signals CQD and S OS were sent by the nearby ship, Californian had its radio turned off. Today's ships have 24-7 satellite connections. In Marset, Iridium network, constantly linked to control centers. Emergency alerts via the GMDSS system instantly reach nearby ships, coast guards, and satellites. Every passenger has access to lifeboats, life jackets, and automated evacuation plans. So, all things considered, yes, if the RMS Titanic were built in today's era, the chances of it sinking would be extremely low.